Number five, getting recognition. This is probably the advice most people are interested in. How can I get more people to watch my videos? Not because these people are greedy and only care about views and subscribers, but because at the end of the day, we do want people to watch our stuff. Even if it's just like three people. So how can you get more recognition? Well, sadly, I don't have a lot of advice here for one major reason. As tragic and pathetic as it is, we live in a big world of advertising. The best advertisers get the most recognition. And sadly, YouTube is no exception to this. Videos with titles like Rare footage of Justin Bieber that proves he's gay are the videos that are going to get the most hits. People who use cheap methods of getting views like sub for sub, random video responses, misleading titles, misleading thumbnails. I'm sad to report that these are generally the people who get the most recognition for their videos. Well, as I talked about in the beginning, I'm not going to give advice for these people. Well, okay, I will just a little bit. If you want to get a lot of recognition on YouTube, you can try doing some of the following. But, if you are a person who's mature, honest, and simply wants to try to maybe get some more recognition to your channel, I'll try my best to give some advice here. The best advice I can give on how to get more views and recognition to your channel in an honest way, is to just get yourself out there and be active in the YouTube community. Interact with the Let's Players you watch and just different people on YouTube. Leave comments on the videos you enjoy and just say what you enjoy about them. Talk to the people whose videos you like and let them know how much you enjoy their work. The best way for me to further explain what I'm talking about is to give you some examples from my own experiences. The first Let's Player I ever watched was Durden77 and his Let's Play of Diddy Kong Racing. I enjoyed his video, so I started leaving comments and letting him know how much I enjoyed his work. I didn't go all out of my way or kiss his butt, I just left simple comments on how much I liked his Let's Plays. Over time, the more comments I left, the more I stood out to him. He would reply to me more and more often and eventually, we began talking on a fairly regular basis. We got to be pretty good YouTube buds, and he eventually inspired me to make my own Let's Plays. Through Durden, I learned about other Let's Players out there, and the same goes for them as well. I got to know them, left comments on their videos, and gained more and more YouTube friendships. So when I finally started my first Let's Play, which was Ocarina of Time, these couple of YouTube friends I made were my first audience. Through them, they would tell others about me, and then they would give me shoutouts. Which I'll add that they did completely on their own, and I never asked for. Over time, I gained more and more followers, and my audience grew and grew. Now you may think that just because this happened to me doesn't mean it'll happen to you. But, I have a few more examples. Two Let's Players that I really enjoy are Griffin Lobster and Jeff Lars. Well, the truth is, I actually started watching their Let's Plays based on the comments they left on my videos. Both Griffin Lobster and Jeff Lars always took the time to leave some nice comments on my videos. I mean, they didn't write me a poem every time they commented. Well, except that one time. I wanna know what love is. But I could see that they really took the time to just say something nice and add some wit to their comments as well. I could just see that these were nice guys, and based on their comments, I decided to check out their channels. Sure enough, they had Let's Plays, so I started watching their videos, and I enjoyed their work. Over time, we interacted with each other more and more, and to this day, we remain great friends. So if it wasn't for the comments Griffin Lobster and Jeff Lars left me, not only would I have probably have not really watched their videos, but I would be without two great friends I have today. So I really feel that getting yourself out there in the YouTube community is really a great way to get yourself more noticed, but also a great way to make friends too. Now I can't promise that this will always happen, or that you'll have the same success I've had. 
And this will of course vary considering if the person you try to interact with is popular. But the most I can say is that the more you get yourself out there, the more recognition you'll get. Far more than you would get than by just watching videos and never commenting. Now the thing is, you may look at the advice I just gave and say, Okay Sith, so as long as I go around and be nice, I might get some recognition for my channel. Well, yes, but not so much in that context. Yes, going around and being nice on YouTube is a great thing to do, and can help get you more recognition, but the thing is, either you're nice or you're not. I can't make you be nice or tell you to be nice. That's all based on you. Some people are and some people aren't. So odds are, if you are a nice person, then it's very possible you've already been doing everything I just talked about. If you're nice, then you probably do go around and leave positive comments and such. If you aren't a nice person, well, first, I hope you're not on my channel, but anyway, if you aren't a nice person, then obviously you're not going to go around and start being nice just because I said to. And if you do, then it's not real. You're just doing it to get views. So, you suck, I guess. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you are a nice person, then that's great. And I encourage you to continue to be this way on YouTube. Don't ever feel like you have nothing to gain out of it. And don't feel like you should stop commenting because your nice comments don't matter. Never feel that way. Any comment you leave can matter. You never know the impact your comment may have. You may point out in a Let's Play part that a certain character in the video looks like a certain character from a movie, and for all you know, it might be that person's favorite movie, thus blossoming a further discussion about the movie, thus blossoming a friendship. You never know the potential friendships that await on YouTube. Back to what I said earlier, I've gained quite a few friendships here on YouTube, and I've met some great people, people I hold as dear to me as people in my real life, with some even more. So in conclusion, I encourage you to get out there in the Let's Play community, be active, and interact with the people you like. The more you get yourself out there, the more likely you are to get recognition. You can also meet some great people and make some great friends. And in closing, I'll discuss one last thing. Even if only a handful of people watch your videos, and you never get huge recognition for your videos, this doesn't render your videos useless nor does it make your YouTube experience a complete waste of time. If a cheerleader in high school has 200 random friends, while a dorky kid only has about 3 friends, does this mean the cheerleader has a better life than the dorky kid has? Absolutely not. It's not the quantity of your friends that matters, it's the quality of your friends. So my point here is, is to never feel like only having a couple of subscribers means nothing. It doesn't. Something is always better than nothing. You may get to know those three subscribers you have on a personal level and make great friends with them. For all you know, they may become three of the greatest friends you'll ever have. Out of all the great friends I've made on YouTube, if they were my only audience, I would still be thankful, because these select few people I've met have had a significant impact on my life. If I had to choose between having only a few subscribers that I can interact with on a personal level and one million random subscribers that I can never interact with on a personal level, I'd choose the first in a heartbeat, but that's just me. This is going to sound very grim, but the cold truth to things is that YouTube won't last forever. It's just a fad, just like Tinky Winky. But your true friends will last forever. They'll last a lifetime. That's just something to think about. I've gained quite a few friendships here on YouTube, and I've met some great people. People I hold as dearly to me as people I do in my real life. People I do in my real life? What? That came out wrong. I've gained quite a few friendships here on YouTube, and I've met some great people. People I hold as dear to me as people in my... <laughs> Out of all the great friends I've made on YouTube, 
If they were my only audience, I would still be thankful. Because these select few people I've met... Blah, 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 out of all the great friends I've made on YouTube, if they were my only audience, I would still be thankful. Because these select few people I've met have had a huge significance on... Ugh. Out of all the great friends I've made on YouTube, if they were my only audience, I would still be thankful. Because these select few people I've met have made a... Ugh, come on!